Greetings, gamers. I've been crunching the numbers on your dirtiest gaming habits and discovered a few fundamental facts. I've combined that knowledge into a single entity for maximum impact. The game's called Genshin Impact, and it's a lot of what I love jammed into one thing. Did you enjoy exploring the world and floating around in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild? Or slashing your enemies and your environment around you to great satisfaction? Tell me about the joy of cooking on a fire, making food items to inspire future Feast of Fiction videos. Or how about the thrill of climbing all sorts of walls with your very nice stamina bar? I also heard you like to look at pretty things, like bubbly anime women and emotionally distant men. Oh, I didn't mention one final thing. How do you feel about gotcha games? A highly addicting and randomly determined reward mechanic that's rarely free and requires you to pay real world money to open a loot box for desirable, powerful characters. Oh, and you can also play this on your phone if you want. Genshin Impact. This game is everything I've ever wanted. And the gotcha mode uh, made almost $250 million in its first month. Turns out Pokemon Go is the only mobile game to beat that. And that game currently has a lifetime revenue of about $4 billion. My not so bold prediction, Genshin Impact is here to stay. Day. Anyway, they do make some tasty looking food in it, so we broke down the delicious jade parcels. We tracked down the ingredients in the game, and this is what it takes. Cabbage and ham. Jue Yun Chili, which you can find in Qingtze Village, and Lotus Root, or Lotus Head, you can find in the West. Luckily for us, we can just go to a grocery store for these ingredients, or get them online. Let's get cooking. Let's start with the filling. Add your ground pork to a mixing bowl with vegetable oil, freshly minced ginger, two cloves of minced garlic, a teaspoon of salt, diced lotus root, one scallion, chopped, and finally some oyster sauce and soy sauce. Mix until combined, cover, and set aside. Next up, it's time to make the green wrap of the jade parcels. It might look like dough in the in-game picture, but it's actually a cabbage wrap. Since cabbage is tightly wound like an onion, you're gonna need to prepare it by bringing a pot of salted water to a boil and carefully stir it inside until a leaf peels off. Now, we're gonna need to plunge that leaf into a bowl of ice water so we stop the cooking process, and that's gonna maintain the vibrant green of the leaf. Dry those leaves off on some paper towels, and then take it to a cutting board. To make these more malleable for our little jade parcels, you'll need to carefully slice off the spine of the cabbage leaf and some of the bottom until only the bendier parts remain. Take a spoonful of your filling and gather the sides of the leaf up and around. Then using a green onion that's been similarly cooked in the same boiling water to soften it, wrap it around the jade parcel and tie a simple knot at the front. You can use two green onions if you're afraid it's gonna come apart. Do this for the remainder of your cabbage leaves. Let's prepare the spicy broth that brings a ton of flavor and kick to these dumplings. Add vegetable oil to a pot and stir fry your minced garlic and ginger in it until fragrant. Then add your spices, a bay leaf, star of anise, diced Jueyun chili pepper, spicy bean paste, and soy sauce. Stir this around until everything is evenly coated and mixed, and then pour in a solid four cups of vegetable broth before bringing it to a boil and covering it with a lid. Reduce the heat to a simmer and let it cook for 30 minutes. Place the jade parcels in a steamer and let them go for 10 to 15 minutes while the sauce is cooking in the pot. When all is said and done, remove your jade parcels from the steamer, fill a bowl with your spicy broth, and then place your steamed dumplings inside. And voila! You've made accurate as can be jade parcels from Genshin Impact. While coming up with the recipe, I turned on cheat mode and just texted my mom, who sent me her own beautiful creations as well. All in the name of food science. Seriously though, spend your money on the ingredients to this recipe rather than gambling it away on a gotcha loot box. Genshin Impact is a huge hit, but these little dumplings hit different. So make them for some friends and family, and let's eat up. Ooh, spicy. Wow, yum. Now it's time for the parcel itself. Yeah. The parcel's so cute. I love this take on a dumpling too, mm -hmm. with this wrap. Cabbage wraps are all over the place. Um, and it's really great to be able to have it here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Especially with this like dumpling interior. Mm -hmm. And this is definitely what they're going for, I think, in the actual game. Um, it looks like it just could be a green colored dumpling, but I asked my mom and she was like, it's definitely a cabbage. I sure do appreciate Mama Wong imparting her wisdom yes. onto this recipe because it is amazing. Wow, this is really good. Not to mention, we were able to use all of the ingredients that they use in the game and it is very authentic. So whoever's working over at Genshin Impact, you know what you're doing. Mm-hmm, I'd say. 
I could eat this whole thing. I might eat this whole thing. Mm -hmm. I'm eating this whole thing. Mama Wong contributed a lot of help on this recipe and she's also helped out a bit on the Feast of Fiction Kitchen Cookbook. We've got so many recipes in there, 55 recipes from your favorite video games, movies, animes, and more. And uh, my mom was there for a bit of the filming process and we are so excited because this book has been out. It's a great holiday gift. It really is. So if you want to get something for your loved ones, have something to do with your kids, do something fun, check it out. FeastEviction.com or just anywhere online. Yep, this book is for you. Mm -hmm. And we always love having Mama Wong anywhere in the vicinity, even <laughs> if it's in spirit true, through true. this recipe. True, true. Actually, let's see. One of my favorite recipes in here is the breakfast congee. Da, da, da. From the original animated Mulan and my mom 100%. I was like, mom, how do I make a good congee? And she's like, it only takes like two ingredients. I'm like, all right. Let's do it. Tons of amazing authentic recipes in here. If you are gonna make this Jade Parcels recipe, you're gonna be missing out on the rest of the awesome recipes in here. So make sure you get it. Yep, and as always, we appreciate your support through the cookbook, through the Patreon, yeah. through the channel, through the Instagram, all of the support. We feel it, we love it, we thank you guys so much. So patrons at patreon.com slash Feast of Fiction, buying the cookbooks, or just following us on Twitter and Instagram or YouTube. We appreciate all of you. As always, leave a comment below and let us know what you want to see us make next. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.